What's going on, guys? Tactical Bacon here, and there's a Lee Enfield. Nice. Hell yeah. Anyways, what's going on, guys? Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to another episode of Daisy Vanilla Mod. Um, so the server just restarted uh, on the last episode towards the end, <laughs> and I don't know, it's been a couple days since I've played this, now I'm playing it again, and luckily the first thing I found as soon as I spawned in was a Lee Enfield, so not too shabby. Um, so if you guys don't know where I'm at, where I'm at right now, I'm kind of a little northwestish of Cherno right now, I believe, and we're trying to push up to Zelenogorsk today, and maybe hopefully get to Starry. I'm not exactly sure. It really all depends on what happens. But I know that uh, a couple of you guys in the last couple videos have noted that uh, I should try to drink from the wells. I know to drink from the wells. Um, I've been doing it the, the past couple times I've been playing this. Uh, I didn't know about it at first, so thank you for letting me in on that, but rest assured I know that you can drink from the wells now. Um, but yeah, anyways, today we're just going to be pretty much working our way around the map, uh, going from here, I think I'm gonna go to Belota actually, since I'm kind of close to that area and see what I can find on the airstrip. Um, other than that, I'm gonna be going to obviously Belota. I'm gonna be going to Zelenogorsk. Some zombies just walking around up there. I don't know if there's a player in that barn. There could be. Hmm. I don't know. But, anyways, yeah. We're gonna go around the map just a little bit more today, and hopefully we can come across some good loot. Uh, maybe even a car? Uh, that would be cool to come across. I still have not seen a single vehicle, whether it's a, whether it's a ground vehicle or air vehicle. Look, I'll even come over here and show you guys that I, I know how to drink from the wells. Alright, so... Not finding anything good at Beloda. Wasn't anything down there in those hangars of that ATC. I mean, there was a few empty cans, but can't really do too much with those. I, mean, I know that you can probably, I, I know that you, you probably use them to craft something. Just not exactly sure what. You probably smelt it down into something, I don't know. I haven't really gotten to the whole crafting on this mod yet, but I'm gonna come over here to these medical tents, or at least there's a couple medical tents over here. And I don't know, hopefully we'll find some kind of good weapon. Um, this big group of zombies down here does kind of concern me a little bit. You know, there might be someone in that deer stand in the corner. There's a zombie standing right underneath it. Or this all could just be for me, I have no idea. No idea at all. I haven't come across a player yet on the uh, US 434 server, so... Would be kind of good to get some player interaction at some point or another. Not seeing any players in here though, so... That's actually a good sign, because I mean, most of the time when you meet a player in these kind of areas, they... end up being hostile a good majority of the time. Hmm. Nothing I can see in here. Wish I could take some of those AKs. That would be fucking nice, right? Hmm. I don't know. It's a pretty cool tent. Some cool designs in it, but, uh... No, no good loot. No loot at all, actually. Bunch of body bags in here. Oh, look at this. A bandage. All right. Pretty good on... I'm pretty stocked up on bandages right now, so I don't... Don't want that bandage. I don't want the, uh... Wet napkins, either. The wet naps or sanitary wipes or whatever the fuck you want to call them. What is this? Empty can? Lots of gauze. Okay. wonder how much better the bandages are than gauze, or if they... if it's really a difference. What is this for? G17. Don't have a G17. I think I'm gonna be sticking with the revolver for a while, because I got quite enough ammo for the revolver. I don't know why that zombie is just kind of hanging over there. Hanging out over there. 
Uh, I don't know if I want this. I don't think I'm gonna take it. I don't know, like, I'm coming across, like, guns every once in a while, but I mean, normally they're just, I don't know, pump action shotguns. As soon as I saw this in the infield, I thought, holy shit, I finally got a good single shot rifle. But I don't know, I mean, there's pretty much nothing going on over here at these tents. I'm not finding any kind of loot, so I'm probably just gonna keep heading up north and see what kind of shit I can get there. Come here, zombie. I want whatever kind of loot you may or may not have on you. Come here. There we go. Got another zombie chasing after me and, and another one. Holy shit. Go down. Go down. Jesus Christ, man. Some of these zombies are fucking... Some of these guys are hardcore. Alright. What all? Am I just gonna get painkillers out of killing these three zombies? Ooh, a can of corn! Fuck yeah. It's totally worth it now. And a can of corn. A can of corn I have eaten. But yeah, I, I don't know. Not really a whole lot going on down here. I'm hoping to... I don't know, maybe see something crazy once I get up to Northwest Airfield. I haven't re really seen anything crazy yet. I don't know if I'm going to either. Besides zombies that just run out of nowhere and chase me. I don't know. I'm also kind of hoping that once I do get up to Northwest Airfield, I'll have a car by then. That would be kind of cool to come across. Like if, I, like if I'm able to come across a car in Zelenogorsk and maybe go around to a few neighboring towns, fix it up really nice. Holy shit. It's a helicopter leaving that factory. Kill this zombie real quick. Come here, motherfucker. Jesus. I be damned. A little bird flying away from that factory. Holy shit. See, like, this is the first, like, crazy thing I've seen. And, it, you know, normally it's not crazy to see a helicopter flying around, let alone, let alone a little bird. But, I mean, you know, it's the first time I've seen that in the, in the vanilla mod. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Anyways, I, I don't know. I'm gonna keep going up north and maybe we'll see like helicopters dog fighting each other. Who knows? Alright, so also I wanted to go ahead and stop here to also show you guys that I am hunting, so it's not just that I'm going around looking for cans of food anymore. Um I did come across some kind of I think it was a lamb or something. Can't remember exactly what it was I killed right now, but I'm a fire starter, okay, cool. <laughs> Do I get like a like a cool skin? But yeah, I killed a cow and a goat apparently, so. <laughs> I think I killed the cow in Belota and then I killed the goat just north of Belota. Alright, so finally we're up here in Zelenogorsk and I see a school. Maybe there's something good in the school. Maybe like a skin. Skin would be nice. There's a hospital over there. Maybe there's some kind of medical supplies. Definitely be checking that out. There's a convenience store over there. So, you know, there's a cool, there's a few cool buildings over here I can be looting. Hopefully they're worth my time. Let's go ahead and break this real quick. There we go. Ooh. That is a huge fucking blood bag. That's kind of cool. B negative. I guess I gotta find a blood testing kit or something to figure out what type my blood is. What is this, an empty blood bag? Transfusion kit, okay. Oh, okay, so you need the blood transfusion kit. And then you fill a blood bag, so is that different from... 
I wonder if a transfusion kit is different from a blood bag. Like, do you need an empty blood bag? Or is that the blood bag? That's probably the blood bag, right? I'm, I'm just being a fucking idiot right now. So, yeah. Another blood bag. B positive. Well, I don't know which type I am, so... I know that there's one that's, like, universal for all blood types. I think that's O something. And then... I don't know. I keep forgetting how blood types work. Well, anyways, we'll start to look for some things in this school real quick. It's cool to stay in school. Not really. Skip school. Just, just go to work. Just find a job and go to work. That, that's all that really matters. <laughs> oh god, I give some horrible advice sometimes. Ain't nothing on that zombie though. I'm a zombie slaying motherfucker, man. What was in here? Ah, oh, empty can. Maybe somebody was in here. Maybe there's just a bunch of empty cans late. Holy shit, a map! <laughs> I never thought I would say this, but I'm so excited that I have a map right now. Holy shit, that's like, that's like discovering the Holy Grail to find a map. Cause now I can look at it and see shit on the map. Kill this fucking zombie. Also, if, if any of you guys are wondering why I keep going around and trying to kill all the zombies, it's because sometimes they spawn with loot on them, sometimes they don't, so... I don't know. I find it useful to go around and kill them because, you know, you never know when you're need, needing some painkillers and all of a sudden, hey, a zombie's got painkillers on them, so... But now I'm going to come in this convenience store, and there's a scope I can't use. Here's a can of ravioli. Hell yeah. Box of matches. I've already got a box of matches. Yeah, I can't use that side attachment. I'm pretty sure that the side attachments are probably for an SKS. Ooh, mellow yellow. Hell yeah. It's been a while since I've had mellow yellow. All right. Got a zombie chasing after me, it sounds like. It's been chasing after me for the past couple minutes. I can hear his footsteps every once in a while start to sprint towards me, but whatever. That's alright. I'll eventually stop and just head him up. Oh, sweet God, there's a fucking water pump. I want to make sure I top off before I leave Selenogorsk. Come here. Oh, you got something on you. What you got? Painkillers. Alright, that's a pretty pretty common theme with the past couple zombies I've killed. They've all had painkillers. What do we got over here? Fuel tank parts? Hell yeah. Maybe when I find a car, those will be useful, but they're not worth taking up space in my backpack right now. But yeah, I figured since before, you know, since I'm about to leave Zelenogorsk, I figured I would go ahead and top off on water. Do have some of that cooked meat I could probably eat, but I'll just wait until that gets a little bit lower, I guess. What you got? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on, get up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, are you serious? So, because I'm just running around just randomly hitting zombies and with a crowbar and trying to kill them all, you know, this shit happens. Oh, come on, get up, get up, get up. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Oh shit, here we go. Oh, fucking Christ. Well. Time to respawn.